Hi, I'm Ryan Bizey, and today I'm going to take a look at the Bandai action figure model kits of both the Clone Trooper and the Battle Droid with Stap. So this is just a look at the uh, trees used to make the model here, so you can see how many different pieces go into just the Clone Trooper alone. And then here we have the pieces just for the head. There's uh, eight pieces here just for the one head, and when we put them together, we get the Clone Trooper head, as you see here. So here is the Bend Eye uh, model kit action figures of the Clone Trooper and the Battle Droid. We're going to start by looking at the Clone Trooper here. As you can see, he does something that Hasbro can't do, and that is he can hold his gun with both hands. You get a full bend on the elbow, unlike in Hasbro where you don't get as much. And he's also just fully detailed. Like the detail gets even better than what we get with Hasbro just because every little bit is a separate piece that you put together. I, I don't know how many pieces, I'd say three to 400 pieces per model kit that you use to put them together. So there's a lot that goes into that. I mean, the helmet alone, I wanna say is at least 10 pieces to do it all right. Cause you see like that gray piece, that's a separate piece. The black piece, a separate piece. The visor is a separate piece. The mouth is a separate piece. Uh, you know, so many little things that go into this. and. Uh, the detail you got out of it is very nice. The decals, which aren't many on this one, um, are rather small and uh, not a big deal. Like the, the blue venting, I guess you'd call it, those are decals right there. Um, there's actually a mouth decal on. Um, there's a couple other minor ones, but it's very small. And you notice they don't stick out like you see in other toys because these are very thin decal. Now, of course, these are out of Japan, so... Um, you can use either a stick-on decal like I have here, or they have a traditional model kit decal where you can, um, uh, you know, put it in water, cut them out, and, and wet them to stick on. Now, like, you can lift the shoulder pads up. There's a little articulation there, and that's just to give more uh, movement in the shoulder. So as you can see on the joint there, if I separate it out a little bit, uh, it's made so that you can move all over the place rather than just, you know, around. The head is fully articulated. It's got uh, waist articulations. So there's a full second, separate piece in there for the waist. Uh, full leg, knee, ankle rotation, um, wrist articulation. And they always come with uh, extra pieces for holding guns and other things. Um, now, in this case, he comes with a second head. So you can use an Attack of the Clones Clone Trooper helmet give you a really good shot of how that looks like up close. Um, I kind of prefer the Revenge of the Fist style clone, so that's the one I went with for my setup on it. But the articulation is far greater on these. Uh, he did come with a couple other things. I'll show you here. So he comes with, you can put the little visor thing. I haven't painted any of this, but you can take off uh, these two little tiny circles on the side of the helmet and attach the visor on if you want to do that. You can do the rifle. Um, they have separate hands, so you have a fist for both sides. You have a gun hand for the left hand and an open hand for the right hand as well. All of these come in, and the nice thing is I think I bought this on Amazon for about $25, so it's not much more than a Black Series figure. Here's the uh, stickers that you would, you know, put in a glass of water to, uh, to put on just to give you an idea uh, how many stickers, how small the detail can be. They're really not that bad to put on. Um, so as well as the Clone Trooper, which I should probably show a nice comparison with the Hasbro figure here. So you can see some of the minor differences that happen. Um, I think the, the model kits look a little more realistic in many ways. Now I've elected not to paint this one because I decided to do a shiny white one. I think mostly because I have a shiny white um, regular Stormtrooper and a shiny white First Order Stormtrooper. So it kind of goes along with that. But I also have the Battle Droid with Stap here. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Here we have the Battle Droid with Stap. We'll look at the droid itself here. Uh, tons of articulation. More than we've ever gotten on, on a Battle Droid action figure from Hasbro. Uh, the backpack is detachable. Um, as you see, I put the 1138 decals on there. His gun can actually attach to this little um, piece that can slide in and out. Uh, the head uh, fully moves. And then, you know, uh, total articulation of legs. Now, on this, the arms and legs actually come as one kind of separate rubbery piece that you'll add pieces on. So you don't actually attach, like, uh, attach the articulation like the knees and elbows on this one, which is a little different from some of these figures. Now, he does want to fall a lot. I don't know what's going on with his foot joints. I'm liable to go check those out. Now, he comes with some extra accessories. So we've got the binoculars here. 
So these may not look like anything, but if you fold up the battle direct, which I'll show you what that looks like, you can, uh, instead of putting the antenna inside the backpack, you just put these little nubs on there. But he also comes with the commander um, backpack thingy, if you will, like OOM9 um has, or OOM9, however you want to look at it. It comes with a piece to attach the C-3PO head onto the battle droid, and it comes with a piece to attach the battle droid head on C-3PO, which was kind of a, a nice uh, addition into there. And then, just to look at the decals, you can customize what you want on the backpack for different things. Um, so it's really kind of cool. Now if we look at the stat, it's very nice looking. It goes together well. It actually has movement. I didn't even know the stap had in that the uh, the top gun here can actually I do this one handed here. It can rotate back and forth. There we go. Like that. So that gives you an idea of kind of the uh, amount of detail they put into this with the rotation. Kind of I'll show the show you the back here. Lots of different pieces, different colors and everything to make it happen. I've already put the decals on this. Um, I haven't attached the battle droid yet to see what he looks on there, like on there, so we should probably do that. So here is the battle droid head on top of the C-3PO model kit figure. Uh, we get a little close up here, you see how that fits right in there, it has the extra piece to get on there. And then you can also attach the blaster with another piece that goes into 3PO's hand so he can hold the blaster. And we can put 3PO's head on the battle droid body so we can get this. Obviously, these aren't quite accurate for episode 2 because we have a gold head and gold body for the 3PO. And you can attach uh, the battle droid blaster to the backpack like so as well. You can also fold up the battle droid completely. Uh, I almost have them fully folded up right here. So here we have the battle droid on the stap. He fits very well. He actually has notches in the feet to, to go right on there. You can attach his uh, arms or just put them on there. You know, this isn't other than the notches on the feet, there's nothing else like attaching it. I just have his hands on there. Um, as you see, there's wrist articulation, elbow articulation, and it twists at the elbow as well. It twists at the shoulder, um, just to give all those different points of articulation. It looks very good. He's a little tilted on here. Probably if I messed with it a little while longer, I'd get him looking a little bit better. But, um, you know, it comes with this nice plastic base to put him on as well. And the coolest thing of all, of course, Hasbro has not given us a battle droid. So this is a six-inch battle droid you can't get through Hasbro. Now, this set cost about, I think it was about $35 to $40, somewhere in there, again, through Amazon. Uh, so very worthwhile on that. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like if I switch out heads to like 3PO and that sort of thing. I don't plan to leave him like this. I think I need to paint him. So I'll go ahead and paint him before I get finished up with this video so you can see the kind of detail that you put into it. So here is my battle droid and staff fully painted. I may have gone a little bit overboard on this, but you know, it's the battle hardened federation here. So, um, you know, it's got a lot of scuffs. The, the fun thing about some of this is if you feel like you went a little overboard, well, he's just been in battle a little bit longer. Um, sometimes you want to do less, less is do definitely more. If you go back and look at my uh, Boba Fett uh, Bandai action figure I did uh, with him, he has. Uh, a lot less uh, de uh, battle damage. I can kind of show you. I basically just used a nice silver paint and a blackish paint, both of which I then just wiped on a uh, paper towel and did the brushing on. Now I am pleased with how the uh, the silver looks on the black in there and how that came out. I tried to get a little bit of uh, detail anywhere I can. Uh, all over the guns and everything. My battle droid, probably he got scuffed up a little bit more than I wanted him to, but he kind of reminds me of, you know, when Phantom Menace, uh, Hasbro released, what, those four different battle droid figures to begin with, and there was like the really dirty one. Well, I think that's what I ended up with, is the really dirty one. But that's okay, he's mine. He can uh, look however he wants, however I want. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Like I said, leaving the clone trooper nice and clean for now. But that is the Bandai uh, model kit action figure of the Battle Droid and Stamp. So that was a look at the Bandai action figure model kits of the Clone Trooper and the Battle Droid with Stap. I hope you enjoyed these. These are some of my favorite figures of all. Not necessarily these particular ones, but just these Bandai model kits. I've got, I think, 15 of them now. I'm only missing four, basically, that are out there, and two are on order. Uh, so I keep working on these. I love 
putting them together. I love painting them. And I just love having them in my collection. They look really good. They're some of the best six inch figures in my opinion out there. I, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I love getting more subscribers. And uh, always, as always, I love getting your comments. So thank you so much for watching.